you guys want. Yeah. Right? You want yeah. people to talk about you. I mean, I feel like team. I feel like you were set the tone early. Like, teams got to go in knowing that like, we're a physical team, so I feel like that kind of changed the game plan a little bit. You guys set a tone against Duke, maybe for a pretty fast early. How, how important is that in the opening minutes? The team knows that you're gonna you're gonna play like that. Uh, very important. I mean, it, it, it just setting the tone is the main thing. Like as soon as you can set the tone, like you can get uh, you can get the advantage a little bit. I mean, like that just controls the pace of the game. So like I think bro set the tone early. Like that just had us controlling the game from, from that point on. How much fun did you have against Duke? Seems like you were playing some of your best basketball. Man, I was having a lot of fun. I mean, I dream about playing like those schools back home, Duke and Carolina stuff like that. So it was just like it was just amazing playing there for sure. Was the MSG always on the bucket list when you were a kid? Wanted to play basketball when you grew up? I mean, a kid, not nah, really. I didn't know what MSG really was. I always knew the name, but like now, now that I'm here, and like, I know the lights are going to be here. Sweet 16, big tournament, and that's what you're going to Family coming up too. I mean, I'm really excited for that. For sure. How about this? You know, I know you, you're, you're taking one game at a time, but like two wins away from this program's first ever final. Does that stay, stay in your mind at all? I mean, it definitely does for sure, but like, once again, like it's one game at a time. So it's one of the rules. Like, we can't look too far ahead. We just got to look at this game ahead of us right now and just get back that game. Very nice we're talking about, you know, the way you play defense, how physical you guys are. And you're also saying it shouldn't be a surprise. We've, you know, we've done that all year, but how much pride you guys take in that, you know, bring him down to the mud mentality? Uh, definitely a lot of pride for sure. It sets the tone, it sets the momentum for us. I mean, as soon as we set that tone, like, I feel like we're in good hands and we just control the game from there. A smaller team like FAU, did you expect them to try to get out and run on you guys a little bit? Oh, oh yeah, most definitely. That's what, they, that's what they're good in. That's what they're striving for sure. So we have to limit those uh, transition buckets for sure and uh, make them take tough shots. Obviously, every team preaches next man up, but you lose a guy like, a guy like Sakai, and you guys have been able to you know, get to this point. What does that say about this team's next man up mentality? How much do you miss the guy being out there? I mean, we've been doing it all year. I mean, we played probably two games with the full team being 100% healthy. So, I'm like, I mean, it's not really nothing new, but like, I mean, now we're here in March, it's going to go home. But it's definitely next man mentality for sure. Janice, do you feel like it's unfair that you all are getting this like dirty, cheap shot sort of reputation because of just like. One game with some ticky tacky fouls in, in the round of 32. Uh, I would say, I mean, unfair is kind of a weird way to put it. I would just say it is what it is. I mean, we just got to deal with it. We play physical. I mean, like, that's just the narrative one. I mean, a lot of teams have narratives, so that's just going to be the narrative one. Nice job.